and no more deals. And Jaguar will be the final two. Jaguar coming into four. Looks to be in. Waiting on number nine. No more deals. No more deals is in. Field in line for the starters trophy. A half a mile straight. They're off. A mini Diwak came out angling to the right. May have caused some early problems at the start. No More Deals has taken off quickly. Jago in the red sleeves also racing close to No More Deals. And these two look to be sharing the advantage at the moment. Racing all alone near the stand fence but in behind the runners. That's a caveman on the far side. Burning Red now asked to pick up. Du jour has been switched toward the far side. But it is Jago who looks to hold the overall advantage. A length and a half clear of No More Deals. Du jour more toward the far side and way over on the far side. That's Burning Red and Omar Walker. But it is Jaguar running away Away from them. This is Division 1 of the Starters Trophy and Jaguar fleet of foot with O'Neill Mullings. Wins easily in the end. Mullings looking behind him. No more deals is second. Burning Red is third. Giant Wheel of fourth. Fifth goes to Mini Diwak.
In the winner's enclosure, the unofficial winner of race number two, the Starters Trophy, Division One. The unofficial winner, number four, Jaguar. Two-year-old chestnut coat by Berlino the Tiger. Burning Angeline by Blue Pepsi Lodge. Bread Ham Stables Limited, owned by Christian Sagan Mirage. Train Philip Fiani OD, the winning rider, the informed Colleen Mullins. The groom, Glenn, Glenn Worth Thompson. Second, number nine, no, de no more deals. Third, number two, Burning Red. Fourth, number seven, Giant Wheeler. And fifth, number five, Mini Diwak. Final time for 800 meters straight. 50, make that 47 and one. 47 and one, your final time. A presentation or starter, Mr. Michael Sims, and he makes it to Richard Jones, representing the winning owner, Bal Christian Sagan Mirage. Also in the presentation party, the winning rider, O'Neill Mullings, and our deputy starter, Dwayne Timmel.